So, good morning everybody. So, in this series of videos we will discuss how to estimate the parameters in the regression model. And in particular I'll show you that our already known estimate for beta hat is unbiased. And I'll explain how to estimate sigma squared and will show you that this new estimate is also unbiased. Okay, so let's start with beta hat. I'm going to explain that beta hat is an unbiased estimator for beta. That turns out is not very difficult. So let me just write that. Beta hat is x transpose x inverse x transpose y. And to use criteria like unbiasedness, we need to use our statistical model. The statistical model is y is x beta plus epsilon, where epsilon follows a multivariate normal distribution with covariance matrix sigma squared times identity. That's the model we used. Good, and what we need to do basically is to plug these two equations into each other. So using capital Y from the model in place of the data little y, we get beta hat is x transpose x inverse x transpose x beta plus epsilon. And I split these brackets here, so I get x beta plus x transpose x inverse x transpose epsilon. And now you can see this here is the matrix of which we have the inverse here. So matrix inverse times matrix is identity and the whole thing here cancels. And that simplifies things considerably. That is beta plus the old term x transpose x inverse x transpose epsilon. Good. And now you will see we are already very nearly done. Namely, from that we get expectation beta hat equals expectation of beta plus expectation of the other term, x transpose x inverse x transpose epsilon. And we learned about expectations for vectors. They are still linear, so we can take out all the matrices. And what we get is, well, first beta is constant, so expectation of beta is beta. And with matrices outside, we have x transpose x inverse, x transpose expectation of epsilon, and that we know equals zero. So that whole term goes away and we get beta. And that's what it means for beta hat to be unbiased. So the expectation of beta hat equals the truth. The bias is the difference between the two. If I subtract them, I get zero. So that was easy. While we are here, I want to also work out the covariance matrix of beta hat. Let's try that. So covariance matrix of beta hat is covariance matrix of beta plus x transpose x inverse x transpose epsilon. And first rule, constants don't matter for covariances. So we get covariance of x transpose x inverse x transpose epsilon. And the other rule we learned the other day is covariance AX for any matrix A and any random vector X is A covariance X A transpose. So we can just use this rule here with this more complicated matrix and epsilon as a random vector. So we get X transpose X inverse X transpose, that's the A. Then Sigma squared identity is the covariance matrix of epsilon. That's from here. And then we get the transpose of this matrix. So I need to swap the term and transpose them each. So I get x transpose, and then x transpose x inverse. In theory, I would need to take the transpose of this term. But x transpose x is symmetric, and therefore the inverse of x transpose x is also symmetric. So we don't need to bother writing the inverse that I can simplify further. I take the sigma squared out in front. Then we have x transpose x inverse x transpose. And now I spot a mistake. Namely, when I took the transpose of this matrix here to go here, I needed to swap the term because the transpose does this. But I also would have needed to take x transpose transpose, which is x. And I did not properly do that. So I need to remove the transpose here. So here is an x. And then 
x transpose x inverse. And you see the same thing happened as before. Two of these terms cancel because we have a matrix and its inverse. And what we get is sigma squared x transpose x inverse. So the result here is, if we put it together, beta hat is normal distribution from epsilon times matrix plus vector, so it's still normal distributed. The mean we worked out is beta, and the covariance matrix we worked out just now is sigma squared x transpose x inverse. So that's our first result. We understand now the distribution of beta hat, and we know beta hat is unbiased. So that is what we needed to say about beta hat. For estimating the variance sigma squared, things are a bit more difficult and we need a few preparations before we can tackle this. And we start in the next video by gathering many properties of the hat matrix, which we are going to use then in the following parts. So, see you then.